Hey guys, Costavers is here and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Evolution. This is episode 14 and in the last episode we've actually uh, completed everything and gained everything that we can possibly obtain or, or possibly unlock on this island in this um, uh, in Isla Tacanio. I uh, I think it's uh, what it's called. Still, I can't remember this island's name, so I think that this is its name. Um, so, um, I want to start things off with the saying that I actually know what the um, what the coastal means. If you can uh, recall from the last episode, the the reward for actually um, achieving five stars in the island rating on this island was to uh, unlocking. Um, the coastal, right? So I didn't know what it is. Apparently, it's a cosmetic gene. Um, the only dinosaur that I know that can um, have this gene, and I have only uh, tested or only checked uh, two dinosaurs. But the only dinosaur out of the two that uh, I've checked is the Sotosaurus. So I'm guessing there are a lot more dinosaurs that can have this gene that I haven't checked. Right, dinosaur that we already have. Um, so, because we've unlocked everything on this island, right? We've unlocked um, Isla Pena or Isla Pena, and we've unlocked the coastal because we have unlocked every single uh, unlockable from each and every division on this island. I think that it is right about time to continue our exploration, to continue our journey of becoming the best uh, Jurassic Park manager, I guess. Um, and let's continue to Isla Pena. Now, I can't remember if we've already read anything about it, but it, available cash, 6 million, so we have the core buildings as usual. Um, Yeah, no, nothing seems too, too strange or too special. I don't know, uh, I, I can't remember, because I took a break, um, I can't remember um, how you check uh, about the information of each and every island before you go to it for the first time. So, maybe you can't. I, I don't know. I, I tried to reach to that information. To reach... Um, the information, but um, yeah, it's La Pena. Nothing about this island feels right, and my instincts are usually pretty accurate when it comes to issues regarding the dinosaurs. So much of what happens on the islands is a secret, by necessity, yes, but this, this just feels like something else, too cramped too isolated. It's as if somebody is gathering up all the materials for a disaster. Tread carefully. Whoa, okay. I'm not sure what they were up to on this island, but it certainly doesn't scream tourist attraction to me. You're gonna have your work cut out for you here. Restricted building space and high power upkeep will see to that. I'd recommend investing in some big ticket dinosaurs, but they don't come without complications of their own. <laughs> you can't confine nature this way, because nature adapts. It searches for weaknesses. It finds them and exploits them, not sometimes, all times. This island is worlds away from Hammond's dinosaur paradise and if things go wrong here worlds away is the best place to be okay so first of all i absolutely love and adore this atmosphere or the atmosphere of this island because as you know each and every island is set at a different um time of day right so uh we have islands that are set uh in uh, in um I guess in the middle of the day, some in the morning, and this is more towards the evening, as you can see it's like a 
uh, I, I don't know what to call it. It's like, yeah, it's it's sunset, and I, I absolutely love this this uh, setting. It's amazing. Um, but according to the maps, right? According to the map of the um to the map of the islands, this is the smallest and the most compact island out of the bunch. So let's see how much area we have. Okay, so we don't have enough area. I don't know what we can even do here. Um, this is a very small island. Uh, no doubt about that. About that. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we are losing money, which is a shame. So let's start creating some dinosaurs fast. Um, What's going on though? Okay, so the, there's no feeder. So, yeah. Um, so, I really, really like this. Um, you, know, you know, the fact that each and every single um, island is unique, but not only unique by its shape and size and amount of, of of land you can play in not 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 only different by that but also different again um, by the settings because this this time of day is amazing and the thing that kind of had me worried there when when they said when Ian Malcolm talked about um, recipes for disasters if I'm not mistaken there are storms here um, and we've already encountered storms before. Of course, uh, the first island, Isla Matanceros, um, wasn't. It didn't have any storms at all. Um, then we went to Isla Muerta, which, well, we we did encounter a few storms back there, um, but they were like a little bit. Um, you know, th there were mild storms. They they weren't as big as tornadoes and stuff. And then we went to Isla Tacaño, which didn't have any storms whatsoever. But here, I think that there are way, way more storms as for start. But also, um, bigger storms. And by bigger, I mean uh, twisters, you know, hurricanes, which I am... Um, both very excited for and very frightened um, towards. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know anything about this game, but or anything about this island. But it's going to be amazing. It's going to be fantastic. Um, I really, really, really like it. But again, because of of the small space we have to maneuver in, I don't know what we can do. I really, really don't. Um, I think that this enclosure is big enough for the Velociraptors. Um, maybe we would want another hatchery capacity. And then... Success rate 2? Sure, why not? Um, so... I, and maybe we can add, I guess, um, I mean, see, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think we can add anything else, really. Um, except for another Velociraptor, so let's do that. Also, I wonder, uh, we've talked about the coastal before, but the Velociraptors cannot have the coastal. Button. What a shame. Well, never mind. Um, so, we will stop losing money very, very soon. Uh, I guess we should make, um, build carnivore feeders. As they should eat, <laughs> you know, um, being alive and such. Also, so we can add another viewing gallery so let's add that 
Um, like that. Yeah. Oh, that's that's spectacular. Okay. Um. And does it have power? I wonder. And the answer is yes. Oh, because it, we have a large substation. Oh, that's that's nice. Okay, so I think it's about time to actually find out stuff about this island, right? So first of all, let's release our first two Velociraptors of this island, right? The, the first two dinosaurs of this island, uh, to be exact. Now, also they have said, um, Ian Malcolm and everyone there, um, Dr. Wu and, um, and Flinch, um, they, they all said something that is, it's interesting, they said that, um, uh, something about, um, hatching big dinosaurs here, which I agree to the most, to the most part. Um, we don't, the, the issue again, we don't have enough space for it, so let's say we add a Tyrannosaurus Rex, where can we do it? Okay, so we put a Tyrannosaurus Rex here, okay, um, a Matriarchontosaurus here, we don't have enough place for anything really, um, which maybe is a reason why this isn't the best place to place the velociraptors to close them in I, I don't know it's interesting but um let's go find a few stuff about this island so first of all um we will unlock isla sauna with uh, knocking three stars and the woodland which i presume is another um uh, cosmetic gene just like the savanna and every type of um Cosmic Gene, which, by the way, most of them um, have the names of biomes, right? So Woodland is uh, forest, pretty much, so that's a biome as well. Um, so we can unlock the Improved Output 3, which is great. Um, intensive Repair, okay. I don't know, <laughs> okay. Um, Carnotaurus, oh, I want that one. Oh, that's a good dinosaur. And of course, we have a mission, which we don't know uh, which what, what the rewards for the missions are. So that's a mystery. Wetland, which again, I think is a cosmetic gene. Um, a mission and the bar, which is kind of nice. Uh, field testing. Okay. Oh, so the mission, the security mission is the first unlockable in the security division, however, um, it is quite far from where we are, which is zero. Interesting. Um, electrified concrete, that's nice. Large power station, oh, that's good. And look who I miss. Okay, so I really, really like the unlockables here. It's really, really awesome. And <gasps> we have new dinosaurs, okay. Oh, that's exciting. Um, we have the Chasmosaurus, which is new. Chasmosaurus, Chasmosaurus. I think these are the only new dinosaurs back there. Um, maybe. Let's not argue over the small stuff. Looking at the big picture, this is a solid contract. Okay. Um, this is interesting. Maybe the. Pacifalosaurus, Pacifalosaurus, wait, Pas, Pachycephalosaurus. Sorry, I, I'm I'm usually quite good at pronouncing this name, um, but for some reason I couldn't uh, do it right now. I, I think this is a new one here. Um, again, the Pachycephalosaurus. Nailed it. Uh, <laughs> um, so here is the Camarosaurus, which is. Okay, that's good. It's um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a dinosaur, which is very very similar to the Diplodocus and the Brachiosaurus in shape and size and everything, you know. Um, so that's interesting. The Camarasaurus again and Camarasaurus. Uh, do we have new here? Of course we do. Here is 
Protosaurus. Okay, I don't I don't understand that one. And here we have the Polacanthus, which interesting. I have never heard of this dinosaur before. Um, and Parasaurolophus again. So, no wait, what? What's new here, though? Because we already have the Parasaurolophus, the Gallimimus, and the Velociraptor. So you know what? Maybe these are sites where we can actually get more dinosaurs in the future. We'll be able to from this island, but we cannot right now, or something like that. It's very interesting. Okay, so we have um we have a basic understanding of this uh, island now, so that's great. Um. And I think that I'm going to um, start thinking about how, how I'm going to lay uh, everything in this um, in this island, right? About the enclosures, about the different dinosaurs that will belong in each and every enclosure. Um, of course, we are going to need to have shops, and uh, we are going to need to have at least one hotel, if I'm not mistaken, um, two would be necessary here. Uh, monorail stations quite possibly are, is, are going to be needed. Um, of course ranger station and um, and the other one which the ACU center right so um, that's interesting that's very very oh so, so yeah that's very very interesting um, going to be um, I guess challenging to put it mildly um, however I've just now remembered that we have the research center which we need to place so I think that the best place to actually put it um, is here right right uh, near the rest of these uh, kinds of buildings right so let's connect the path as well um, it's also interesting to know which research um uh, I, I items i guess we can research you know, on the silence so that's interesting um and what's going on so our facility rating is doing great actually better than i suspected so dinosaur visibility 100 that's awesome however everything else is well unshockingly poor However, we have here a very crushing uh, variety penalty, which is, it isn't very good. So we have to think about how we're going to lay the foundations or every single thing in this island uh, quite quickly before we actually continue. Um, and we have a profit, which is good. We have a profit, so we, we're not losing money anymore. Um, now, what can we research? So fossils, nothing new. Um, now, the, Kentrothor the Kentrosaurus is a an unlockable dinosaur on this island, so I guess it's a um, it's a reward from a um, a mission, right? This is Islapen as well, the Gigantosaurus. So I guess this is going to be um, either the security division or the entertainment. I would guess the security and this would have been um, science division if th this would have been my guess. Um, also we have uh, the Carnotaur the Carnotaurus which we have already we, we already know um, where we can, un we can unlock it. And the Allosaurus is interesting but it's Isla Sona so we're not really interested in that just yet. And the Sucomimus, we've we know about that one, how to get that one, so that's great. Okay. Um So we do have an idea of two rewards, right? Of the of the three missions. However, I have no idea, I have no clue about um what the third the reward for the third um mission could be. That's very very interesting. 
Oh, so we can create the Indominus Rex. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> let's research that. Oh my god, we will be able to actually create the Indominus Rex in this episode? Surely not. Oh, this is getting exciting. Oh, okay. Um, so like I said, I'm going to uh, start thinking about how I'm going to put and place every single thing on this island and hopefully it will go well. Who knows? Okay guys, so new viable genome, the Indominus Rex. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Um, look at that! Oh my god! Okay, uh, you know what? Let's see whether or not we can actually modify it. Yes, we can! Alpine, Savannah, and Arid. Oh, and look at that. Look at how many modifications we can make it. Or give it to it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy right now. But it's so damn expensive. Two million dollars. More than two millions. It's... Right around two million and a half dollars. That's expensive as hell. Uh, way too expensive. Um, I don't think we'll be able to do it in on this episode, unfortunately. Um, but who knows? Maybe, maybe we will. Um, hopefully we will. Suddenly. Um, but who knows? So. Let's create the large substation here. No, you know what? Let's let's place a substation for now. Um, as you can see, I'm working on a hotel. Um, so right now we have a hotel uh, in the park. We also want to give and build a an emergency shelter so the emergency shelter will be I well I wanted it to be here but I guess we can't put it here oh we can here okay also I've just about now just a few the minutes ago is always on the lookout for ways to improve our bottom line that's great Shouldn't be a problem. So, um, I've just realized a few moments ago. Look, we have uh, concrete uh, concrete walls in this um, island. Actually, we've unlocked the concrete walls, right? So now we have the light steel, electrified light steel, heavy steel, electrified heavy steel, and concrete. As you've um, seen before, you can also unlock uh, on this island the electrified. Or the electric con concrete wall which is fantastic um, this wall is very sturdy compared to the others so that should be that should serve us well um, in our search for better and bigger dinosaurs to um, you know to accommodate in our parks now uh, I am um, torn apart between two ideas for today's episode and obviously the first being um wait do we have enough power no we don't why why don't we have enough ah maybe we don't have enough power from here um so, um, so yeah, so the first option that I've, I'm wondering about is obviously to uh, continue building this park, right? So adding uh, shops here and adding another enclosure here and another enclosure here and doing this kind of stuff, you know, um, 
So I'm torn between this idea and actually waiting quite a lot um, for two million dollars to arrive and then to create the Indominus Rex. You know what? You know what? Let's do both. I have time. So I think that off camera I'm going to build more stuff and um, we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, we have a storm now, which is very bad news, um, but kind of exciting at the same time. Um, so this is our first storm on this island. Um, I'm aware that the path isn't connected. Okay, um, fossils, I will die of sources. Sure. Um, so far though, the weather doesn't seem to be that bad. I mean, sure, yeah, that's a storm, but we've seen worse. Um, now we need some power that we don't have. Good. Um, so look at what uh, I've done so far. So um, I've now created an ACU, um, an ACU center. I've also created this quite large uh, enclosure. I think you know. Um, what I'm planning to place in here. We also... Look at that. Actually, the storm was so short that even the Velociraptors, which have a very, very small um, comfort zone, I guess, um, even they didn't get, I, I guess, um, uncomfortable inside of the storm, which is... Very good. Um, so we have a restaurant and a gift shop now, which puts our uh, um, facility rating at a very, very high pl higher place than I expected. As you can see, we have more than one and a half stars in our island rating, meaning that in just like that, we finished another one of our um, security con um, contract. Yeah. So as you can see, I have completed a few contracts. I have completed, I think, three, maybe four contracts from the security division, uh, two from the entertainment and one from the science or something like that. So it's not very well balanced, but that's what I got. So we can um, always use what can we do? Resources. Here's our chance to earn some. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to <laughs> I earn as much uh, as many money as much money as I can, right? Um, which is quite a tough task. Um, and you know what this island reminds me of? For some odd reason, it reminds me of The Incredibles. Um, comment in the comments below if you understand what I'm saying, because it's off. It's it's weird, but in the same time, it really gives me the feel of The Incredibles, and I don't know if it's Incredibles 2 or The Incredibles, um, if, if, if it's the first movie or the second one, it's... This is simply the, the, the feel that it gives me. Um, we also want to place a ranger station, finally. Which is, again, very, very important. Um, however... I don't seem to be able to place it where I want it to be, which sucks. However, what can we do about it? So, I guess placing it here will be good. Um, <laughs> who knows, really. Um, let's place another emergency shelter around about here for all of those buildings. And we also want to have, um, yeah, it's here, a, a storm defense station, because that's, I think, 
is very important in this island. So there's one here. There will be... And unfortunately it means that I am wasting quite a lot of money. Um, however, it is, at least I think, that it is uh, necessary. So, what can we do? Um, we also want another power station, so let's place another power station right here. Um, let's connect the path. And... We really need the ranger station badly. Um, so come on. Um, yeah, man, this, all, all of that. Wow. Uh, okay, so um, I've actually um, now gone through the recordings and I found out that two of my clips um, didn't have my uh, voice recorded. Something happened to my mic for some odd reason and um, you can't hear me talking. <laughs> so, which might be a blessing as well, who knows. Um, so I'm going to show you these two clips. Um, so I hope you've all enjoyed it. I think that this is going to be it for this episode. Um, I'm going to show you, as I said, the two clips. Um, if you liked the video, please be sure to hit that, that like button. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and you want to see more episodes, just like this one, please do subscribe. And yeah, guys, I guess that I'll meet you all and see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Vrei să pleci, dar nu mă nu